This is Michael Scott Hollish. I am in Riverview, Florida at the American Legion, post 148. And what brings me here today is the M102 105 millimeter howitzer. This is on dis permanent display in front of this American Legion post. It is just a gorgeous example. A little bit of history on this uh, piece of ordnance. It was designed in 1962. It was manufactured by the legendary Rock Island Arsenal who has been making military ordnance and weaponry for well over a hundred years. This was placed into service in 1964 by the U.S. Army. It was utilized throughout the Vietnam War, all the way up to the Gulf War, and was used in a limited capacity as a ground weapon in the Iraq War. So it had a very long service life. They had a maximum range of fire of seven and a half miles for a standard round. And uh, later on, these could fire a rocket propelled round that could get an extra two miles of range out of them. So about a nine and a half to 10 mile range out of the rocket propelled rounds. These are retired as a ground weapon by the United States Army. However, they have been sold as contract weapons to about a dozen other nations who still continue to use these. And uh, I know the Philippines has about two dozen of them. Malaysia, Lebanon, uh, obviously nations with a far less modern and sophisticated military than we have here in the United States. These actually are still being utilized by the United States Air Force. They are mounted, believe it or not, in the side of the AC-130 gunship. Or in certain models of them, anyhow, which to me is utterly amazing that an aircraft could take ordnance this size, firing out of the side of its fuselage, but uh, it's a pretty massive gunship. And uh, obviously they are utilized for uh, supporting troops on the ground, uh, you know, in areas with a uh, high insurgency, etc. cetera. But, uh, you know, with uh, the anniversary of D-Day just passing, and although this is not a World War II piece of ordnance, I figured with a lot of the major networks avoiding paying homage to the men who sacrificed, not just in the United States Army, but uh, our allies as well, Britain, Canada, etc., getting a foothold in Europe to fight World War II, I figured I would uh, stop and do a little tribute video with this piece of ordnance. Although it is a Vietnam era piece, those men uh, obviously come from a lineage of heroes and, uh, you know, obviously uh, that came after uh, the Korean War and uh, World War II. So, just wanted to shoot this video and uh, tell you a little bit about this. There is the breach where the round is loaded in. Got an elevation handle. Right there, just had to get past that post for elevating the weapon and I just thought I would finish the video 
with this sign mounted to the front. It's pretty important, especially with the climate that is happening uh, within our country right now. We the people defending freedom. All right, guys. Have a good day.